and it's second v seven for a place in the Premiership semi-final and of course the ultimate goal a place at Old Trafford for that uh, first division Premiership final which uh, takes place later this month Leeds must put behind them the disappointments of their Challenge Cup final defeat at Wembley last weekend against Wigan, losing of course by 30 points to 10. It really will test their resilience as a club to try and bounce back just five days after that Wembley defeat. Bradford Northern meanwhile have not played since April the 23rd when they lost at home to Castleford in the Stones Bitter Championship and Leeds are looking for their fourth consecutive win over Bradford Northern this season, having Leeds beaten them both in the games in the leagues at Headingley and Odsall, and of course in the Challenge Cup also at Headingley a little earlier in the campaign. On to the team news, and uh, first of all Leeds, there's no Ellery Hanley in the Leeds lineup this evening, he's out with a shoulder injury, so George Mann steps up off the subs bench from last weekend's Wembley side. He's in the second row. Gary Mercer goes to loose forward. And on the bench, we've got Marcus Vasilakopoulos and Neil Harmon. So Leeds line up with Alan Tate at full back, Jim Fallon, Kevin Iro, Craig Innes, and Francis Cummins. The half back pairing of Gary Schofield and Graham Holroyd. Forward line, Harvey Howard, James Lowes, Asini for Milo. Second row is George Mann, Richie Ayres. Loose forward, Gary Mercer, the subs, as we said, Marcus Vasilikopoulos and Neil Harmer. Bradford Northern, they have Robbie Paul at full-back, Roger Simpson, Carl Hall, Paul Newell of Gary Christie, half-backs, Neil Summers, Derek Fox, Roy Powell, Trevor Clark, John Hamer, Paul Dixon, Carl Fairbank, loose forward, Brian McDermott, with the subs, Eugene Bourneville and Jason Clegg. Referee is Stuart Cummins from Widnes, and it will be Bradford Northern scrum half, Derek Fox, to get this evening's Premiership first round clash underway. A place in the semi final awaits and just what, 160 minutes away from a final at Old Trafford for both of these two sides. Derek Fox will get the game underway then. The Bradford Northern scrum half, just the final formalities being completed by the touch judges and the referee as Derek Fox kicks deep inside that leaves 20 metre area where it's fielded by the Leeds. Second row forward, Richie Ayres. First touch for him. Lowe's an acting halfback. Short pass inside to Francis Cummins, the Leeds winger. Makes it outside the 20 metre line before he's brought down by Fairbank and Hamer. Ball goes left to Harvey Howard. Solid tackling of very warm evening temperatures this afternoon. We've been in the uh, late 70s, uh, early 80s, so it's going to be uh, still quite hot out there. And it uh, really will give some sort of idea of the summer rugby league which of course when the super league gets underway next year what sort of conditions the players will have to put up with final tackle this for leeds lowes spins the ball back to holroyd he then throws it ball back to schofield the lead stand off and he punts the ball deep inside that bradford northern half where it's fielded by the fullback robbie paul lowes and Famila up for leeds to bring the kiwi down gary christie Clark and acting halfback spins the ball out to this left hand side to Roy Powell, one of a number of ex Leeds players. But there's four Leeds defenders in there George Mann and James Lowes to bring him down to two of them. Now it's Hamer at uh, receiver on this side. Holroyd and Schofield complete the tackle. Bradford Northern not making too much yardage at this moment in time. Now they try and find a gap on that left hand side through Paul Newlove. But the Great Britain centre is dragged down by Kevin Iro. Now it's Fairbank tries to hand off Iroh, turns in the tackle, spins the ball away, but Bradford Northern have lost it, and Jim Fallon, the former Bath Rugby Union player, scoops the ball up for Leeds. Gary Mercer playing at loose forward. As Ellery Hanley is sidelined with that shoulder injury as Ayres tries to make the break for Leeds down that uh, right-hand side. Lowe's short pass out to George Mann. Mann, though, held up by Paul Newlove and by John Hamer. Holroyd, Schofield, Leeds spreading it quickly out to this left-hand side. Innes, Innes with a good pass out. Iroh joins the line. Now here comes Francis Cummins. Cummins though receives one a little bit high there. And I think Bradford Norman are going to be penalised for that. One round the neck of Cummins. And Stuart Cummins, the referee, gives the penalty. Two leads, which Graham Holroyd dispatches into the south stand in front of the main lead supporter so Leeds have six tackles in a very good position no more than about uh, 50 meters from that Bradford Northern try line for Milo gets out of that first tackle but held by 
Derek Fox and by Carl Fairbank. First real attack miss by Leeds in the opening stages. Schofield out on this left-hand side finds Richie Ayres, but Ayres is very well tackled by Paul Medley. Lowe's thinks about the pass, goes by himself, almost spots a gap in the Bradford Norland defence. It's shut by Fairbank. Leeds going ever nearer that Bradford Northern line. Iroh can't hold on the ball. It's a low trajectory pass to him and Bradford Northern have a bit of a lead off there and Gary Christie is able to bring the ball away from inside his own 20. Now it's Powell. Powell thinks about the pass but wisely holds on and Bradford Northern now well away from their own try line after that uh, slip up by Leeds in attack. Hamer, well tackled by Mann. Bradford Northern approaching the halfway line. Derek Fox slips, tries to offload. Ayres in with the tackle. Neil Summers, Bradford Northern scrum half. Almost makes it to the halfway. He's lost the ball though. There was George Mann and James Lowe's around him and he's lost it. And Gary Mercer goes on one of those side runs towards the touchline trying to find a gap in that Bradford Northern defence now it's big Jim Fallon Fallon held though by Trevor Clark here comes George Mann bit of a space here for Leeds on his left hand side he had Innes with him but couldn't release the ball good tackle by Summers now it's Richie Ayres Ayres has Innes with him can't good tackle again by Bradford Northern but Leeds again in a promising position on the final tackle Paul Lloyd puts the bomb up pressure here on Robbie Paul he takes it well though the Bradford Northern fullback Gary Mercer and Alan Tate were up along with Gary Schofield but Paul kept his eye on it and Paul Newlove attempts to bring the ball to his own 20 metre line Christie short pass inside to Simpson five minutes gone still no score in this Premiership clash, referee Stuart Cummins has penalised Leeds, Harvey Howard a high tackle and Derek Fox will kick the ball onto the paddock side which is maybe not quite as well populated as you would have expected, although it is of course a Friday evening game Paul Medley shrugs off one tackle eventually brought down by Graham Holroyd now it's Roger Simpson Bradford Northern winger no way through for him runs straight into Harvey Howard who grasps him and hauls him down to the floor Northern about 22 metres now from that Leeds try line that's a pass out to that left hand side and Christie takes it really down by his ankles and he has to pick the ball up and then he can only find Kevin Ido now it's Roy Powell Powell tries to make inroads forward towards that Lynch trial line. Good opportunity this for Bradford, maybe for early points. Derek Fox finds Carl Hall. Hall comes short. And that was the final tackle. That's well, the final tackle now. Fox, short pass inside. Chance here for Trevor Clark. He's lost it. The ball's gone loose. Is referee going to allow play on? Surely not. There was a knock on. And referee Stuart Cummings quite rightly gives the turnaround. And Alan Tate, the Leeds fullback, gets probably only his first touch and he's penned almost underneath his own post. Gary Mercer. Lowe's to Fallon, often a technique used by Leeds to give Jim Fallon early possession in the first couple of tackles. Gary Schofield to George Mann. Mann tries to shrug off Derek Fox. And Bradford Noll, and I think a caught offside there, referee Stuart Cummins gives the penalty to Leeds and Graham Holroyd dispatches the ball onto the south stand roof and Leeds will have a set of six tackles on the halfway line Saini for Milo Lowe spins it out to his left hand side Harvey Howard comes on a burst Leeds bring it blindside Trevor Clark John Hamer in to complete the tackle for Bradford Holroyd to Schofield. Schofield with a short pass. Innes almost gets away from Neil Summers. Schofield again. That looks a bit of a forward pass. The referee has given a scrum down with the advantage to Bradford Northern. Still no real 
try scoring chances in these early stages that up and under which uh, Robbie Paul took in the early few minutes At the moment defense is on top Bobby Paul Summers brings in Brian McDermott the loose forward no way through for him though front into the brick wall Harvey Howard Derek Fox out to medley good tackle by Richie Ayres gets up quickly to him Paul Medley can be dangerous when he has the ball out towards the touch lines certainly as in the past Certainly as a Leeds player, I like to uh, the open spaces of Headingley, and he's done it for Bradford Northern and Halifax in the past. Here come Bradford again. New lot stepped out of the first tackle. The Great Britain centre spotted the line, and he's going to go through for the first try. Paul Newlove into the gap. The Leeds defence was nowhere as Newlove picked up possession from that. And Bradford Northern have gone in for the first points. The Great Britain three-quarter has scored it, and it's Leeds nil. Bradford Northern four. And Paul Newlove before this game just needed two tries for 200 in his rugby league career well that is try 199 and he's given Bradford Northern a 4-0 advantage with nine minutes on the clock and Derek Fox will look to extend Bradford Northern's lead from four points to six points good start for Bradford Northern just what Peter Fox would have wanted not what Dougie Lawton would have wanted as Leeds try to get their game back together after the Wembley game and he's successful as well as Derek Fox brilliant conversion by the Bradford Northern scrum half scoreline leads nil Bradford Northern six and Graham Holroyd will have to restart the game with that deep kick inside that Bradford Northern 20 metre area Paul Medley has lost it bad mistake there by Medley and Leeds have an ideal opportunity here to get back on level terms George Mann six tackles here for Leeds and they're right on that Bradford Northern try line as Innes tries to find a way through referee's blown his whistle <coughs> and Leeds have been given the penalty quick tap penalty taken by Leeds Schofield out to Holroyd Whole wide with a pass to Iroh, but it's gone to ground, and Robbie Paul picks up, and he's spotted a gap in the Leeds defence. Alan Tate does well to come across to bring him down, but Northern on halfway. Tate tries to get the ball back. Referee's blown his whistle. I think he's going to penalise Leeds. Alan Tate can't believe it. He was only going for the ball, which is quite a liberty to do. Referee disagreed. And from Leeds, been in a good position after that Bradford Northern error by Paul Medley from the kickoff. Leeds now finding themselves having to defend in numbers once more. Trevor Clark to Roy Powell one of the workhorses in the northern side gets it away back to Trevor Clark Trevor Clark heads towards that Leeds try line Richie Ayres, Graham Holler, Gary Schofield bring him down anxious moments here for Leeds they certainly can't afford to concede another try well, right under the stick to now Bradford Northern three or four metres from the try line ball spun left, Derek Fox Fox holds on to it, did well because there was somebody coming in just on his left hand side and he released the ball it would almost certainly have been a forward pass Roger Simpson goes from acting half back that's where Wigan caused problems in the Challenge Cup final and Trevor Clark tries to bound his way over but Tate's there for Leeds with a little bit of help from George Mann short pass maybe a chance here for Neil Summers and Neil Summers has got it for the try and there's going to be questions shortly asked about the Leeds defence once more 12 minutes gone, Bradford Northern has scored two tries in three minutes, this time it's Neil Summers and it's now Bradford Northern that lead by 10 points to nil this is a bad start for Leeds they've beaten Bradford Northern three times already this season Derek Fox with a conversion not as difficult as the last one he's just as accurate this time again Fox has kicked two from two leads nil Bradford Northern 12 because when the sides met in the league at heading late Leeds were really cruising to victory they had something like a 24 point advantage before Northern went on to score 
I think three late tries to bring it back to 46 points to 30. Well, at the moment in time, it looks as if Leeds will need some sort of comeback like that. They need to get some points and pull themselves back into this game. McDermott for Bradford Northern, tackled by Famailo and Howard. Trevor Clark to Neil Summers. Summers. Mercer and Ayers bring him down. Now it's Clark. Carl Fairbank gets the ball away to Roy Powell. Powell releases it to Trevor Clark. Good play by Bradford Northern. Hamer's got support here from Gary Christie. And Bradford again inside that leads half. Derek Fox out to Summers. Brings in Carl Hall. Hall's found a gap. Just ankle tap by Graham Hall. What an important tackle that was. Carl Hall had spotted the 20 metre line. Final tackle. Derek Fox cuts the ball up. Alan Tate's under pressure. He takes it, but surely Carl Fairbank was offside. And well, the fool will report Medley Sesson into the referee. And Leeds get 10 metres and will have a penalty, which I think we'll be more than pleased to have. Just goes into touch. For Milo. From that tap penalty, turns in the tackle, gets the ball away from supporting James Lowes. Lowes gets away from Medley, he's lost the ball though. Will the referee give the penalty to Leeds? And a bit of indiscretion right there by James Lowe's throwing the ball towards John Hamer and he's holding his left wrist. And he looks in some pain as a Leeds hooker. Whether he was saying to the referee that he tried to steal the ball in the tackle and as a result managed to damage his wrist. Leeds have been awarded the penalty. Graham Holroyd, will he go for goal? He's going to do exactly that. He's about 33 metres out, so it's a, certainly plenty of distance for him and not an easy penalty conversion for the lead scrum half. Just if James loves is OK, nothing more than a bang. It's already strapped. Free restarts the clock. 12 0 Bradford Northern Leeds tries from Paul Newlove and Neil Summers. Jim Holroyd will have the opportunity to reduce the deficit to just 10 points. Bradford Northern fans behind that third goal where he's kicking towards. We'll certainly try and do their best to put him off. He's hit it well and he's hit it between the middle. So Leeds have got their first points, 17 minutes on the clock, Leeds 2, Bradford Northern 12. This Leeds have now got their scoring underway. As Derek Fox kicks deep inside that leads half, fielded by Schofield, releases the ball to Gary Mercer, Mercer held by Summers, Lowe's looks to have recovered from that injury, Francis Cummins makes it to the 20, Lowe's out to Harvey Howard, Howard was on that bustling run, head down, and somehow manages to get the ball away too, good play by Howard, Gary Schofield jinks off his right foot, No gap in the Bradford Nolan defence. Roy Powell and Paul Medley are there. Holroyd, spinning pass. Almost released by George Mann there. Decides to take the ball himself. Ayres, Ayres gets a good pass out to Ennis. Leads him a bit of a space now down this left-hand side. Francis Cummins. Cummins there, tackled by Carl Hall. Final tackle is for Leeds there. On that 20-metre line. Surely the kick's going to come. Schofield. Plus that long pass out, Iro can't hold on again. Another mistake by Leeds on that side of the field. Two errors. 
Bradford Nolan last time went at the other end and scored a try. They're already on halfway. Trevor Clark acting half back. Ball comes on to this right hand side. Hamer to Medley. Medley gets the ball away. It's gone loose. Referee's not going to allow that one to play on. Scrum down. Leeds have the put in. Stuart Cummins giving one or two orders as the two packs meet head to head. Not at all happy with the, uh, the situation, and he's sending them a few meters across. Ball comes out on the lead side, Francis Cummins. Summers with the tackle. Schofield out to Innes. To Iro. Iro into New Love. Could be a battle between those two. Both over six foot, both heavyweight centres, and both love to score tries. Leads on halfway. Lowe's out to Iro. Iro shoulders down, heads towards New Love. Holroyd out to Gary Schofield. Schofield to Richie Ayres. Ayres, though, he's held in the tackle. He had Tate with him, but there's Carl Hall and Paul Medley into completely the tackle on the Leeds forwards. Alan Tate puts the kick up on the final one. Robbie Paul's under pressure and he's been shoved by George Mann. And I think the referee's going to give a penalty to Bradford Nolan. Or is he going to give the knock on? I think he's going to give the knock on. He's giving Leeds the put in. Derek Fox still doesn't agree with that one. Maybe a question that Robbie Paul was impeded there. Alan Tate. Leeds have six tackles now, 20 metres out. The try would go down very well. Mercer heads for the gap, he's found it, releases the ball, chance for Innes, the ball's held up for Leeds, Lowe's is in for a try as he grounded it, Lowe's is in for the try. The Leeds hookers crashed in, just what Leeds needed with 21 minutes gone. 6-12 now of a scoreline. James Lowe's of course, the only Leeds players he had a try at Wembley last Saturday. Leeds come up again on this short side to go in for Leeds' first of this Premiership clash. Though the conversion is missed by the Leeds scrum half. Still Leeds 6, Bradford Northern 12. with the kick-off for Bradford Northern. Richie Ayres, first receiver. Held down by McDermott. Now it's Lowe's to Gary Mercer. Typical Gary Mercer run. Dummies, that looked a bit high on him from Medley. Harvey Howard takes no prisoners. Takes three of him to bring him down. Holroyd out there to George Mann. Mann can't release the ball, gets away from the tackle. Richie Ayres, Ayres, good pass there to Craig Innes, referee says forward. It wasn't that far if it was. Some of the lead supporters didn't think that the referee had made the right decision. And uh, I think you could probably hear in the background their disagreement and disapproval of the witness official's decision. Come down, Derek Fox, to Summers. Tate brings him down. Bobby Paul with a short pass to Brian McDermott. Twenty-five minutes gone. Hamer. Howard clings on for dear life to his left boot. 
Fairbank to Powell. Powell tries to turn in the tackle. Bradford now on the Leeds 20. Trevor Clark again making inroads Bradford Northern straight from the play of the ball. Final tackle. Derek Fox with a pass to Summers. Summers puts a grubber kick through. Francis Cummings does well. Picks the ball up, brings the ball away from his own try line. Now it's Gary Schofield. Schofield with a long pass to Kevin Iro, and he's knocked on. And Bradford Norland have knocked on. And if Paul Newler would have picked up there, it could have been try time for Bradford Norland because Leeds playing suicidal rugby in front of their own try line, really. A long pass out there was knocked on. And if Bradford would have taken advantage first time, could have been another four points as it is. Leeds with the first defenders, Northern have six tackles. New love. Looking for that 200 try, he's going to go in. Did he ground it? Ball's gone loose. Referee can't surely award a try. No. New love's hold right down by the corner flag. Bit of a waste that really by Bradford Northern. They had six tackles to put pressure on that Leeds try line. And in the end, they wasted good position George Mann Mann held by a couple of Northern defenders now it's for Milo Lowe's out to Holroyd to Schofield back to the lead scrum half puts a little grubber kick through well taken on the bounce by Robbie Paul Menis brings him down on halfway. Carl Hall, he's split a gap. He's still going, he's Carl Hall. Makes good yardage for Bradford Northern. Again at the play of the ball, leads a court. Neil Summers charging forward. He's almost going to find his way over. Unbelievable how much room that Bradford Northern have been given at this moment in time. Simpson out to Derek Fox. Fox, can he get the ball away? He does, back to Simpson, chance here for Nolan again. Roy Powell, is he in for the try? Did he ground it? Is he over on his back? And Roy Powell has put the ball down, according to the referee. It's another try to Bradford Northern. The referee right over the spot said he grounded it, then he was turned over, tries given. 27 minutes gone, another Bradford Northern try, 16-6 now they lead. Paul Newlove is uh, receiving some attention, must have been from that tackle where he was shoved into the corner flag a few minutes or so ago. Looks to be okay, looks slightly the worst for wear. Bradford Northern will be hoping that he is fit to continue. Fox with the conversion, straight between the middle. Leeds 6, Bradford more than 18, plenty of points, but unfortunately for Leeds, they're coming from Bradford Northern. And I think possibly two of the three Bradford Northern tries or certainly the good positions have been set up by players receiving the ball and acting halfback, and then going for a gap Fairbank for Bradford obviously some concern in the Leeds ranks at this scoreline Trevor Clark to Paul Medley Derek Fox this time he likes to put the pressure off his forwards and puts the ball right down in that far corner where on site has to feel for Leeds. Take going nowhere. Good chase by Derek Fox. Cummins. Held by McDermott. Now it's Lowe's to George Mann. Mann to Gary Schofield. Schofield to Ayres. Ball's been again being put down by Leeds. And at the moment, the Loiners are their own worst enemies. 
giving the ball away, really. Here can Bradford Lillard again, another big gap. Fairbank makes 10 metres. Mullen again setting themselves up for another try. Summers, that's not quite a good pass, it's gone loose. Fox manages to get hold of it. Gives Leeds a little bit of a chance to uh, sort their defence out. Simpson. Lloyd Powell. Powell turns, gets the ball away. Chance for Hamer. Hinch is short from the try line. Good pass by Powell and Leeds having to scramble their defence. Ball comes left. The ball's been knocked on by Leeds. Will it be six more tackles? Summers continues to go forward. New Love looking for that try. Chance here for Christie. He's in the corner. But he didn't ground it. Well, that was a four points. Got a begging for Bradford Northern. New Love out to Christie. All he had to do was ground it by the corner flag. Referee said he didn't put the ball down properly. Try's been disallowed. That really is relief for Leeds. But Leeds at the moment are really at sixes and sevens defensively. That looks high on Fallon. Referee allows play to continue. Gary Schofield's knocked on, and it's turning out to be a bad night for Leeds so far. Error after error. Spilling the ball. Fairbank. Now it's Trevor Clark again from the acting halfback, making yards forward. Fox to Summers, Summers to Powell. Powell almost gets away, strides out of the tackle from Pamilo. Here comes Simpson, and Bradford Nord been given a penalty, not allowing Simpson to play the ball. And Derek Fox is going to go for goal. When he gets his deposit of sand, he will anyhow. It's been a good first half for Bradford and all them. Surely there's going to be some pretty harsh words said about the Leeds defence at half time. Greg Lawton and Ellery Hanley. Fox with the penalty. That's another two. Lead six, Bradford Northern 20. The losers of this one, of course, the season is over. Leeds have been saying all week that they desperately want to do well in this Premiership competition and want to bounce back after Wembley. Doug Lawton, I think he's going to make a substitution. Neil Harmon's come on. I think it's Harvey Howard that's gone off. Is that a knock on? It is. Carl Fairback makes the error from the kickoff. Can't afford to make errors like that. He'll be annoyed with himself. Leeds could certainly do with a try before the interval. Long kick by Derek Fox, taken by Tate. Summers brings him down. Lowe's to Harmon, first touch for the Leeds substitute. Good pass out to Lowe's. Brings in George Mann. Man held by Hamer and Powell. Lowe's to Howard. It's not Harvey Howard that's gone off, and he's been given a penalty, I think, Leeds, for a high tackle. No, he's given the penalty for a forward pass. And Bradford Northern will have the penalty.
and referee is calling James Lowe's across for a word. Derek Fox and Trevor Clark trying to rally the Bradford Northern players. For Milo, I think the player that's gone off for Leeds. Trevor Clark to Roy Powell. Summers pass out there to New Love. New Love there, well held. Clark to McDermott. Nolan again through Fairbank, head down, makes yards forward. Last tackle, Derek Fox puts the little grubber kick over, and the ball's gone loose. Well, Derek's got it back, but not legally. Maybe a scrub down. Leeds have the put-in. Whole right to Innes. Innes looks to take on the right wing and three-quarter in Hall and Simpson. Neil Harmon. Couple of minutes to half-time. Schofield to Ayres. Howard gets almost away from that first tackle, but Neil Summers holds on for dear life to keep hold of him. Holroyd, long pass out to George Mann. Innes, chance here for Kevin Iro. He's found a gap on this right hand, left hand side. Iro's heading towards the line. He's going to go in for the try. He's a bit Kiwi, and he goes underneath the post and goes round for the touchdown. Trevor Clark says he didn't put the ball down. His foot went out, but referees don't have none of it. Kevin Iro's got a try. And that is just what Leeds needed on the stroke of half time. Kevin Iro, that's his 100th British Rugby League try. He just needed one going into this evening's game. He's got 100 tries in British Rugby League, the Kiwi. With that try coming on the stroke of half time in this Premiership clash. Graham Holroyd with just one kick so far has got his second 12-20 twice Bradford Northern looked to have a good position leading 12-0 and then 20 points to six. Twice Leeds have clawed their way back into it. Richie Ayres for Leeds. Lowe's to Familo on that right hand side. Summers and Newell have bring the Leeds drop down. Harmon leads penalty offside decision of Graham Holroyd eager to kick the ball onto this roof on the north stand quick play the ball tap taken by Leeds good run by Neil Harmon leads now on that Bradford Northern 20 now it's Harvey Howard Leeds are making good ground here Another try now and really rock Bradford Nolan on their heels. Holroyd out to Schofield. Schofield to Tate. Short pass inside to Innes. Does well the Kiwi to take it. He had Roger Simpson and Carl Hall on him. Schofield goes to Martin half back. Short pass inside to Innes. 
Still the ball alive. Richie Ayres tries to bury his way through, but Ayres has gone into touch. His foot went in. Touch judges right. If Leeds could have got another one there before half time. We're now into first half injury time. Wasn't too much of that. That's a knock on, is it, by Neil Summers? An elementary error by the Bradford Northern number six. And Bradford Northern looked rattled. Still, maybe that chance of another try before half time for Leeds. Ball one from the scrum, Schofield with the run around, spots the gap, gets the ball away, Iroh's in for another try here, the Kiwi's gone in for two tries in the space of two minutes. A knock on by Neil Summers has gifted Leeds four points. It's now 16-20. Iroh's gone in for another touchdown, Leeds is third of the evening in his second. Well, I don't think many people will have put their money on this scoreline eight and nine minutes ago when Bradford Northern led by 20 points to six. He's come with the last action of the first half. Graham Holroyd. Doesn't manage it. So the conversion's missed, but Leeds still now very much in this premiership first round clash due to that man Kevin Iro. 20 points to six at one stage Bradford Northern led with tries from New Love, Summers and Roy Powell Lowe's going to try to reduce the deficit early on but two tries from the Kiwi on the stroke of half time lead 16 Bradford Northern 20 wonder what the respective coaches said at half time at one stage, it looked as if Dougie Lawton would have a fair bit to say with Leeds a long way behind. But two Kevin Arrow tries just before half time have certainly changed not only the scoreline but the possible way this game was swinging. No doubt Peter Fox will have had some words to say conceding those two tries as Leeds are met with a round of applause as they come on for the start of the second half. Gary Mercer's back on, Neil Harmon has gone off, so Leeds make a change round during the half-time interval. Everything to play for then in this second half. Be Leeds to kick off. Graham Holroyd will get the action underway. Holroyd then with a kick. Fox to Medley. Medley on one of those runs, gets his head down. This time goes nowhere. Gary Christie. Tackle by Lowe's and by Familo. Clark to Hamer. Plenty of points and this game nicely poised. Powell. Gary Mercer brings him down. Final tackle is for Bradford and Derek Fox puts the right-footed kick in. Eventually picked up by Jim Fallon. Gary Schofield met by Summers, tries to shrug him off, can't do so. Lows to man. Man pushes one off, pushes two off, gets the ball away to Graham Holroyd. Holroyd goes for a gap. 
with Dermot and Fairbank bring him down. On, they took too long, allowing Graham Hall wide up, and Bradford Nolan have been penalised. Leaves them with a tap penalty just inside that Bradford half. Harvey Howard runs straight into Paul Newell, knocks him down as if he's only about half the weight. Leeds have made good ground there in two tackles. On that 20 metre line, Holroyd out to Schofield. Schofield with a short pass to Mann. Mann now held by Feb, by McDermott, and by Medley. Blows to Mercer. Out there to Innes. Innes tries to push the Northern shirts off. Doesn't succeed. Leads in a good position. Ayres tries to bully his way through. Final tackle. Leads just on that try line. Can they get something here? Schofield. Gets the ball away to Tate. Tate comes in field. Final tackle leads. Lowe's out to Schofield, Schofield's got in, and it was that spin back pass by Tate that did it. And Gary Schofield walked in for the try. Taking Leeds just three minutes of the second half to draw level. Now 20 points apiece. Looks as if Leeds were going nowhere there when referee Stuart Cummings indicated the final tackle. Two conversions already from Holroyd. This will be his third if he's successful. Hits the post. Comes out the wrong side as far as leads are concerned. Not too difficult to kick. Graham Holroyd normally pretty reliable. Fails to give Leeds the lead. Leeds 20, Bradford Northern 20. One thing when these sides have met this season, there's always been plenty of points. 46-30 at Headingley in the league, 31-14 in the Challenge Cup at Headingley. And there are also 40 points in the league game at Odsall. Leeds winning 30 points to 10. Lowe's to Fallon. Fallon tries to get up ahead of Steam. Now it's Richie Ayres. Ayres tackled by Medley. Leeds approaching halfway. Lowe's to Harvey Howard. Harvey Howard's made a break. Good play. He's got support from Milo. Here come Leeds again. Milo's into a massive gap and is going to go underneath the post for the try. And Leeds take the lead. There's a smile on Gary Mercer's face. A smile on a Sammy for Milo's face. And Leeds have rocked Bradford Northern. End of the first half, start of the second half. 24 20 now the scoreline. What a turnaround this game. Nolan's problem this season has been the number of points they conceded defensively I know they've not been too happy with that they conceded a lot of points but they didn't think they would have conceded this many at one stage Holroyd right, this time is successful with the conversion and Leeds now lead by six points 26-20 six minutes gone of the second half and literally in the space of six minutes this game has been turned round and upside down you would have certainly put some money on Bradford Northern three or four minutes before half time to be 
very strong and looking towards the Premiership semi-final place, but it's looking different now. Fallon gets the ball away to Lowe's, that's a knock-on. This time leads me a little bit too eager. Both Bradford Northern subs have been brought on, Eugene Bourneville and Jason Clegg. Peter Fox bringing the changes. Fox from the scrum, Summers out to Robbie Paul. Eugene Bourneville. Clark acting half back, short pass to Clegg. Very similar looking to Paul Grayson actually. Derek Fox pushes off one defender. Three or four metres underneath the Leeds post. Summers goes by himself. Spots a gap. Good tackle by Kevin Iro. Still Bradford Northern. Balls come off a Leeds player. Referee says it's the final tackle. He's not going to give six more. And Roy Powell's knocked on. Should be the turnaround. Indeed it is. And here come Leeds to Alan Tate. That's high. Grabs him literally by the scruff of his collar. Schofield to Harvey Howard. Howard pushes, shoves off one. Medley brings him down. Lowe's. To Holroyd. Ball's gone back. Ennis. Ennis has gone for a gap. Ball inside to Cummins. This time there is a knock on. Referee spots it. We are scrum down. Frantic starts the second half. Jim Holroyd just holding his uh, left shoulder. Comes out northern side, Summers. Going nowhere. Ball's gone loose, scrappy. Roger Simpson picks up, but Gary Schofield's watching him. Bell goes for a gap. Tackled by Familo. Medley. Medley head down. Hamer makes the gap. Ball tackled by Tate. Bradford Northern looking dangerous. Paul Newlove. Newlove hurts surging towards the line. Last tackle. Bradford in a good position. Can they draw level? Kicked through by Derek Fox. He's a grubber. Fallon's taken it. Is he going to be held behind his own line? He gets away. Well played, Jim Fallon. Nolan were disappointed, he didn't rock him behind his own goal line and a bit of drop out. Iro. Iro runs into New Love. Tackled by Fairbank. Leeds are outside their own 20. Mercer out to Schofield. Out to Innes. Innes tries to find the gap. Turns away from Summers. Gets the ball back inside to Alan Tate. Tate to Mercer. Oh, that's a risky pass. That's also risky, the ball's bouncing. And Leeds are going backwards at this moment in time. They're taking one or two risks. Richie Ayres. Tackled by Newlove. Now it's for Milo. with a final tackle, ball spun back to Graham Holroyd who puts a left footed kick in it's a deep one bouncing in front of Roger Simpson Robbie Paul picked it up gets away from the first tackle Robbie Paul over halfway, tackled by Fallon John Hamer, good tackle by Fallon right down by the ankles Ball mill for Bradford. Clark with a short pass inside to Fairbank. Here comes Jason Clegg. Can he get the ball away? He finds Roy Powell. Powell, is he over? 
held inches short. Northern tried to bite the way over through Trevor Clark. Is he over? He's over on his back. Stuart Cummins right by Trevor Clark there. Northern for a second thought that they'd drawn themselves almost back level. You certainly wouldn't put your money on which way this game's still going to go. Balls comes out Northern side, head and feed. Medley's knocked on. Chance for Francis Cummins. Oh, if he could have got away there. And we're taking some stop in. There's nobody there that leads play the ball. Referee's given the penalty to Bradford. Nobody seems to know exactly what the referee has given there. He's given the penalty to Bradford. They've got five tackles, three metres from the try line. Good position this for Derek Fox and his team. Powell. As Nolan fans behind the goal trying to urge them forward. Newell have tried to barge his way over. Christie to Bourneville. He's not going to find a way through like that. You can see the try line there. Christie puts a kick in, it's come back over Leeds player, he's got him for the try. Gary Christie's got the try for Bradford Northern. It fell very kindly to him, he put the chip over, it touched a Leeds hand or a Leeds shirt. Christie's got the try. Northern and now just two points adrift. Gary Christie's gone in for Bradford Northern's fourth try. 26-24 Leeds lead, but Derek Fox should tie this one up. Fox then with the conversion, straight between the middle. Leeds 26, Bradford Northern 26. Fifty-two points scored. Leeds kick off. Ball mill for Bradford Northern. Leeds are penalised. Or oh, is it Bradford? No, Leeds are penalised. Not holding in the tackle, says the referee. Fox kicks the ball into touch. Clark to Clegg. Bradford Nolan just looked to have stepped up a gear. John Hamer. Hamer's found a gap. Runs into Alan Tate. Does well. Does the Bradford Nolan number 10. Nolan in a good position. 20 metres out. New love. Bourne Mill. Looks to turn away in the tackle, looks for support, nobody with him, has to hold on. Clark, out to Derek Fox, Fox to Robbie Paul, steps inside, gets the pass away to Newlove. Fallon did well, had to come in the Leeds winger, there was an overlap on this side. Final tackle, Fox to Robbie Paul, Paul puts the kick in, kicks it far too hard, Paul's gone dead. Tap on the 20 metre line to Leeds. Mercer's met by Summers and by Bourneville. George Mann. For Milo. Leads through Richie Ayres. Ayres almost makes it to halfway. Lowe's out to Iro. Looking for a hat trick, the Kiwi. Final tackle is for Leeds. Joy the kit will come in. It does from Graham Holroyd. Pressure on Robbie Paul. Takes it well. That's two is taken well tonight, the Kiwi, and he's spotted a gap. Great break by Robbie Paul. Over halfway. He's looked to take on Alan Tate. Still going, Robbie Paul. Great play. As Norland surged forward again. 
Gary Christie. What a break that was by the full-back, and all in a good position, Roger Simpson held just an inch from that try line. 26 points apiece, Northern right by that Leeds try line. Derek Fox, Fox out to Summers. Summers thinks about the pass, has to hold on. Good tackle by George Mann. Medley, good tackle again by a man that's two in succession. Derek Fox, Fox puts the kick in. It's going to go dead, safe for Leeds. Certainly in these last few moments, Bradford Northern have looked very dangerous. Got themselves back level with Christie's try. Ballon held by Clark. Not happy with the tackle by Hamer. Lowe's runs into Fallon. Hamer's penalised. Mercer's coming in. Leeds have the penalty. Lowe's short to Harmon, who's coming back on. Doug Lutton making the changes, keeping another pair of fresh legs on. For Milo. Leads 20 metres from that Bradford Northern try line. Holroyd to Schofield, back to Holroyd. Long pass out to Innes. Innes gets away. Pass to Cummins. The ball's gone loose. Be a scrum down with the Bradford Northern put in. Just 7,300 at Edinley for this Premiership clash. I think it would have been on a Sunday afternoon. Leeds would have been hoping for about 13 or 14,000. They wanted to decide in that the financial pot is not big enough after Wembley. Paul Newlove slips on the surface. Eugene Bourneville for Bradford turns in the tackle, gets it away to Roy Powell. Powell goes for a gap, looks to take on airs and man, 30 metres out, Bradford Northern. Fairbank. Turns, gets the ball away to Summers. Summers releases the ball. Final tackle for Northern. Midway through this second half. Ball's gone loose. Bad pass out to Medley and he's furious and he's not helped himself by arguing with the referee, Paul Medley. When it's given Leeds a relieving penalty. The sides locked at 26 points apiece. Neil Harmon. Now they try now for nearly eight minutes. Blows. Over halfway, tackled by Paul Newlove. Schofield. Out to Craig Innes. Innes spots a gap. Iroh's with him, good pass to Iroh, Iroh looks to take on the full back, he's going to go in for the try, Kevin Iroh's in for the try, showing power, the Kiwi, the hat-trick try, his third of the evening. Kevin Iroh has gone in for the try. Leeds take the lead, only for the second time. Leeds 30. Bradford Northern 26, Leeds is sixth try, Kevin Iroh's third, a Leeds in the driving seat now.
all over the conversion. And he's successful with it too. Certainly the 7,000 spectators have had value for money as far as points have been concerned. Don't think either coach will be over happy with the defensive play by these two teams. Gary Mercer on the side where he runs. No way through, he's tackled. Leeds trying to keep the ball alive on that left-hand side. Marcus Vasilakopoulos just being brought on. He gets his first touch. Gary Schofield finds the gap. Has Kevin Iro with him. Iro strides out of the tackles, goes round Derek Fox, still going the Kiwi. Oh, clever pass, but Mercer couldn't take it. The ball's been knocked on. And that was just one pass too many, I think. And Leeds have been penalised for holding down in the tackle. About 16 minutes of this Premiership first round clash remain at Headingley. 32-26, Leeds lead, just six points between these two sides. Clark to Bourneville. Bourneville held by Familo. Clark to Robbie Paul. Can we see a bit of inspiration from him? Clark to Fairbank. Fairbank comes up blindside, tackled by Gary Mercer. Northern, well, 10 metres from the trial line, you can see it there. Derek Fox puts a kick through. Chance here. Did he get a touch? I think he did. Well, that was a very close call. Referee's going to give a drop out from underneath the post. I tell you what, Roger Simpson may feel a little bit aggrieved there. He looked to win the race for the try line. Now, the question would have been whether he exerted downward pressure on the ball on the try should it have been given, but the referee said the ball went dead and has given Bradford Northern the dropout. Bradford Northern didn't complain, they were nearer than I was, but it looked very close. Leeds are a man short, I think it's James Lowe's that's down injured, here come Bradford. Through Gary Christie, he's had a good game for Bradford, Robbie Paul, Paul with a spinning pass, it's been intercepted by Fallon! Fallon's picked up that loose pass and he's got the whole length of the field ahead of him. Fallon's got the pace, nobody's going to stop the former bathroom union player now. Thank you very much, try time for Leeds. Fallon's gone the length of the field from that pass, demoralising for Bradford Northern, and that could be the try that clinches this Premiership clash. Fallon's gone the length of the field, he took a risk with the interception, but it worked, it paid for Leeds. And when he got the ball, Nobody was going to stop him. 36-26 now the scoreline. Jim Fallon enjoyed it. The Leeds spectators in the south stand did. I'm not too sure Paul Newell and Gary Christie were quite as obliging. Surely now Leeds have got themselves into a position where for the first time in this match they can feel a little bit comfortable. Paul Woods added the conversion. Leeds lead Bradford Northern by 38 points to 26. Jim Fallon could have given Leeds the place in the semi-finals of the Premiership. Quick kick-off by Bradford. 
Robbie Paul was quick to try and regain possession there for Northern. Didn't work. Northern been penalised. That's what ground they made from the kickoff. They've lost immediately with the penalty to Leeds. What a game we've seen. First Brad for Northern looked good. Leeds fought back, then Northern again, but now Leeds with that 12 point advantage. Surely, even a drop goal or a penalty, well, surely Northern can't get three if Leeds were to get another couple of points. For Milo, gets the ball away, it's gone loose, it's picked up by Innes. Alan Tate. Turns in the tackle, gets the ball away to Vasilokopoulos. Held by Robbie Paul. George Mann goes blindside. Held only a couple of metres short of the try line. Final tackle. Holroyd. Spots the gap, still going, Graham Holroyd. It touches a Bradford Northern player. Six more tackles to Leeds. They're not going to need them. Mercer's going to be in. Did he ground it? Has the referee given it? He has. And that almost certainly now is game, set a match to Leeds. Gary Mercer's got in for Leeds to try. Now 44 points to 26. Hold on with the conversion. He's got it. Leeds 46, Bradford Northern 26. Tell you what, whoever Leeds get in the next round of the Premiership, the semi final, guaranteed, of course, to be at Head Olympicos Leeds, finish second in the table. They're going to have to let out work this week on training on defence we'll be happy to have conceded the number of players they have done at home but certainly credit's got to be given to the way Leeds have fought back as you said earlier they said all week they needed to bounce back after Wembley you wouldn't have put much money on them doing so at one stage but credit to the players credit to Doug Lawton they really have fought tenaciously this evening What money now? And maybe another Leeds Wigan final. Nine minutes remain. Great break by Alan Tate. Big gap. Chance here for Graham Holroyd. The Northern defence has absolutely torn to shreds. Try time again to Leeds. You can thank Alan Tate for that one. The Leeds fullback make a sparkling break. Graham Holroyd was there to latch on to it. The 50 points are up for Leeds. The ninth try of the evening. The Bradford Northern now look a pretty dishevelled bunch as they make their way behind the post once more. Holroyd again with the conversion. He's had his kicking boots on tonight. 52-26 Leeds lead. Holroyd completes his conversion. After his own try. The scoreline, 50 points to 26. <laughs> 50 points to 26, the scoreline. <laughs> if Dean Abacus added an extra two points to the lead scoreline there. Bradford have possession. 
new one. Anything now for Bradford Nolan looks surely more than consolation. Clark to Derek Fox. Fox tries to scurry his way through. Ball's gone loose, came off a Leeds player. Would have thought it should have been six more. Referee disagreed. Neil Summers puts the bomb up. It's a terrible one to try and take. Ball's gone anywhere. Somehow Alan Tate got back. Really did well. The Leeds fall back after failing to get under it first time. It was bouncing all over the place. There'll be a dropout up underneath the Leeds post. Confirmation 50 points to 26. The scoreline. Great kick by Graham Holroyd. Gary Christie with a job of trying to bring the ball back for Bradford. Robbie Paul on to halfway. New love out to Derek Fox to Roy Powell. again puts the little kick up in the air Francis Cummins is under it doesn't take it Carl Hall takes it was he onside try's been given Leeds played Hall onside and Norland are in for a try 50 points to 30 Carl Hall Leeds make another substitution. One or two spectators leaving the ground, feeling that the job's done. It certainly should be, with only three minutes remaining. So Leeds through to the semi-finals of the Premiership. Not been an easy ride by any stretch of the imagination. At one time, the path to the semi final looked a very, very long one. Good tackle by Jim Fallon. Christie tackled by Harmon. A couple of minutes remain. Fox puts the kick in. Tate's going to field it. Just taps the ball back and then picks up. That was high by Newlam. Referee giving the Great Britain three quarters of the benefit of the doubt. Fallon. One of the biggest wingers in the game. Takes some stopping. Holroyd out to Schofield, out there to George Mann. Please looking dangerous again. Ennis on that left hand side gets away from Carl Hall, passes inside to Cummins. Cummins can't keep hold, and it's a knock on by Leeds. We're we'll scrum down on just outside the Bradford Northern 20. Northern have the put in. So Bradford Northern's season looks to be over. Finished seventh in the championship and Leeds have knocked them out of the Challenge Cup. They've now knocked them out of the Premiership. Sloppy pass by Bradford, it's gone back. Summers, look to take on Ennis, look to take on Ayres, still going Summers.
Roger Simpson to Carl Hall. Hall tackled by Nassau Coppolas. Derek Fox, pass to Fairbank. Fairbank tackled by Neil Harmon. Christie loses the ball. Bradford have got it back though. It's come off a Leeds player. Fairbank, Fairbank dummies. That's a wild pass by Carl Fairbank. It's got a mile forward. The final hoot has gone. Right on the 40 minutes, not a single second of injury time added by the timekeepers. Leeds then through to the semi finals of the Stones Bidder Premiership competition. Tremendous fight back. At one stage, there were 20 points to six down. They hold themselves back to 20 points to 16 at half time with two Kevin Iroh tries. Two tries at the start of the second half from Schofield and for Milo. Gave Leeds the ascendancy. Northern brought it level. But when Iroh went in for his hat trick try and Fallon went in for that interception, there was no way back then for Peter Fox's team. They were beaten. They kept on trying. They got the last try through Carl Hall. But it's Leeds, the winners. And just 80 minutes now from Old Trafford. Another game to come at Headingley. Their opponents will be known after the other Premiership games this weekend. Full time at Headingley, Leeds 50, Bradford Northern 30.